So they wanted me, <laughs> some folks wanted me to do a little bit more uh, detail oriented uh, thing on my sprouts. So I'm going to go crunch more some, some numbers, I guess. So here, okay, it's real simple. Here's what I do. I take my measuring spoon. I use this one, which is one tablespoon, kind of a flat tablespoon. I take my sprouts. Now right now I'm using Nature Jim's sprouts. Pretty simple, comes in a, a one pound bag. Now I'm paying $18.50 on Amazon for a one pound bag. That's not the cheapest one. I take a level, ah, uh, it's got to tear it out. Well, that's all right, I can do that. I take a level, I take two, two level scoops, okay? And I put them into my mason jars, which look like that. This is just three days, that's three days of growth. In two more days, this jar will be completely full of sprouts, okay? So I take my two, my two scoops, I put it on a scale, I find that I have 0 .065 of an ounce, 0 .065 of an ounce. So for the sprouts that I'm currently buying, the Nature's Gym variety, uh, which I have found to be very successful with, but a little on the spendy side, if you want to be really frugal, um, it's costing me 98 cents for this jar full of sprouts and as you've seen in my previous video that's that's a lot of sprouts that's a full meal of sprouts uh, just by itself put a little salad dressing on there and you've got a, a wonderful salad for a lunch um, take them out of the jar put them on a sandwich or something if you want to add some crunch to your sandwich uh, I have found and you'll see here in this picture uh, I have found other sources of sprouts where I can get them for $13.48 a pound or 84 and a quarter cents an ounce and that mix, which I'm going to try next actually, uh, gets, gets my jar full of sprouts down to 55 cents. Now you compare that to $3 for a head of organic uh, iceberg lettuce, you know, that's, that's, financially that's a hell of a deal, really is. I'm getting one meal a day, one meal a day, not for 15 bucks, not for 10 bucks, not for five bucks. I'm getting one meal a day for 55 cents. 55 cents. Think about that. What the hell can you buy for 55 cents? You can't even, you can't buy a hamburger, you can't buy a hot dog, you can't buy nothing for 55 cents. You can't even buy a candy bar for 50. Think about what you'd have to buy, how little food you'd have to get if you went to the grocery store and spent 55 cents. It's crazy. Um, so now I wanted to continue with this because not only is there a tremendous financial advantage to, uh, to doing this, but the, the, the varieties of different sprouts that you can grow are, well, pretty much everything. Everything can be sprouted. And depending on how you mix, what percentage of what you mix together, because see, you can buy these mixes that come all together, or for a big savings, and it's actually pretty substantial, you can buy the individual seeds, you can buy like just the alfalfa, just the clover, just the mung beans, just, 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 this, you know, just the radish. You can buy these separately and then mix them together yourself and make all kinds of concoctions out of that. Uh, I mean, they've gone so far... I found one here. Here's a sprout mix for dogs. Yeah, for dogs. $9.87 a pound. Uh, you can buy, which is which would be cheaper, $9.87 would put this down to about $0.30 cents for a jar, um, which would be a nice, healthy, refreshing treat for your dog. And believe me, mine loves the sprouts. She'll eat every bit of them if I don't eat them. Um, she, I, I, when I get done eating, I let her do my pre-wash cycle for my dishes and uh, she'll clean every bit of it off the plate she just loves the sprouts uh so there but but there's all kinds of things that you can sprout you can you can sprout sprouts you can sprout bustle sprouts um i found a five-part mix that i'm going to try next this is from true leaf market uh this one has all of the same things in it that the other one has the one i'm, I'm eating now uh, but it added, let's see, broccoli, 
radish lentils. It added green lentils to it, which I thought might be interesting to try that. Um, could be a little bit more, a little bit less spicy. Um, I don't know, but you know, when you look at Kroger's and it's, it's two dollars and what did I say it was two ninety nine for a head of iceberg. Yeah, two ninety nine, three dollars for a single head of, of organic iceberg lettuce, which is what two salads. That that this this jar full would be equivalent to half of a half a head of iceberg, I would imagine. Um, and not nearly as good. I mean, iceberg is all, you know, it's all monotaste. It's all going to taste exactly the same. This, you've got all kinds of different flavors mixed up in the jar. You've got four distinctly different flavors and textures up inside the jar. So I don't want to just, you know, get, get kind of crazy with this, but I did want to share with you guys that there's all kinds of combinations that can be done with sprouting. And, and super simple to do. I mean, this is just, you know, a basic mason jar, and I bought this lid, these lids that just have a screen top on them. Uh, you don't need to buy a screen top. You could cover this with a piece of, uh, of uh, 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 cheesecloth. You can cover it with just a piece of cheesecloth. You can put a metal, regular metal top on there, and then take, uh, you know, something and just poke a whole bunch of little tiny holes in it for drainage and for ventilation. Um... But you can see there's a little bit of water left in the bottom of this. I fill this thing up with water twice a day, and I dump all the water out twice a day. And then that gives me that gives me a pretty good pretty good amount of salad material. So it's cost effective. Really cut your your I mean your grocery budget way down by growing these sprouts yourself. Way down. I mean 55 cents versus well half of two ninety half of three dollars, so a buck and a half. So one third the cost. Sprouts you can eat sprouts for fifty five cents. Buying organic head of lettuce would cost you a dollar fifty for the same volume of food. Um, you've got an unlimited number of flavor profiles that you can put in there. Um, you can go like really high protein by eating a lot of peas and beans and that kind of stuff, uh, where you're you're doing almost a protein mix. Uh, you can target specific areas by changing the percentages of what type of seeds that you're going to have in there. Um, it's, it's almost like a complete separate uh, family of, of things of, of like cooking without, without the cooking, obviously. Although I've seen some experiments where people have actually, you know, make your sprouts, throw them into your, throw them in with your rice. Make some uh, uh, fried rice with sprouts in there. Why not? Anything that you're going to put on the stove top and, and uh, you know, fry up a batch of whatever, uh, throw some sprouts in there on top of it just to add some crunch, to add some, some nice crisp cool flavors up on top. You're going to do a stir fry, put some sprouts in there with it. I mean, there's, there's hundreds of uses. I would think it'd be good on, instead of putting lettuce on a hamburger, put sprouts on top of your hamburger. Um, I had some, I had a little bit of a celebration last night, I have to admit. Um, I got a, I got a cool listing. I, I'm also a realtor. For those of you that don't know, I got a really cool listing. Uh, an island. Uh, I listed an island for sale, uh, and so I celebrated last night. Had a night. Had a beer. I haven't had a beer in a while. Had a beer and a steak dinner and um, a baked potato. Even had some carbs and and a big side of sprouts. It was delicious. So that was my dinner last night. Lots of different menu opportunities to do with sprouts. Um, and again, I'm not trying to whip a dead horse. I'm not trying to beat up too much on, you know, everybody with sprouts, 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 sprouts. I'm not going to be, you know, like that. Uh, I just think that they're really cool. I'm enjoying the heck out of them. They make me feel good eating sprouts. I physically feel like I have more energy. I have more clarity, um, which, you know, my age is getting to be more of a thing. Um, I'm, I'm just digging on eating sprouts. I think they're... They're a great, and here it is, January, and I'm eating greens. Fresh garden greens. So if you're getting that gardening bug coming up right now, and you feel like, you know, you really need to start gardening, grow some sprouts. All my sprouts that I'm growing right now, my entire garden is less than one square foot in my kitchen. On the shelf above my sink. Just literally a, a little area, yay big by yay big. It's actually, I use the, the cookie sheet out of a toaster oven. That's the base that I, I do all my sprouts on. Um, doesn't take up much room, super simple to do, hardly any effort, super healthy, cost effective. Why aren't you doing sprouts, man? 
Anyhow, I'll have more for you in the near future, guys. Be good, be careful, take good care of one another, and thanks for listening to this old goat. Bye. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye, folks.